I have the capacity to contain them, to shoot them down. I will shoot down the helicopter. Now to comments by some individual that they can shoot down the helicopter of the military. I think that's laughable. Hello, BTs. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Finally, the military has answered Asari Dokobo. You know, Asari Dokobo said that he has the capacity to contend with military, that had we can send his military men to his house, they'll be flying for past 30 minutes, that he has the capacity to contend with them and he can shoot down their helicopter. So the military now asks him to come to battlefield. If he knows that he can be able to do it, he should come to battlefield. Now, we don't know whether Asari Dokobo will go to battlefield or he will just decide to pipe low. Let just, let me allow you BTs to watch. <laughs> no be small thing. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Good morning. Good afternoon, good evening. As you are talking. With the video, I'm not going to the video. As I said in the video, that's the video. We case soldiers, we case police, whoever. I've been flying over my house, my house and my compound in the last 30 minutes with two helicopter gun chip. I have the capacity to contain them. Nigeria cannot surrender to Wiki. Rivers people will not surrender to Wiki. Each of people will not surrender to Wiki. I have the capacity to contain them. And the government knows that I have the capacity to contain them. As I've been contain containing other people. Let them tell Wiki to back off. I am 60 years old. I've never been afraid of death. I've always embraced death. I'd always embrace that, so I am not afraid of that. So, all those who are there, when the helicopter is shot down, let nobody blame them. I didn't go and look for the helicopter to shoot them down. I would shoot down the helicopter. I would shoot down the helicopter. I swear by Allah that I will shoot down the helicopter. Whoever is commanding them should be warned that I will shoot the helicopter down. Enough is enough. That Tinibu will hand over River State into slavery. The wiki, wiki is nobody. Without this one, I've laid off of it. It's nobody. Wiki is nobody. Let them remove this thing from him now. I think he has billions. He knows the market. He has bought guns for his men. Let them remove this thing from him. And let us see. Go and vote. I will go and vote. I will vote. And you see me vote. Nothing will happen. We vote result to be announced. Chairman will be sworn in and we'll see. Chairman will be sworn in and we will see. <laughs> I don't want to talk too much. We'll not talk too much. There's a military formation in this community. We did not look for their trouble. Your father mad is a mungu. You cowardly evils. Do you think I'm like you people? Now to comments by some individual that they can shoot down the helicopter of the military. I think that's laughable. In fact, I'm about to laugh about that.
And I say that because, you know, we're in a democracy and, we're in a prof and we are a professional force. We cannot just, based on somebody's comments, begin to do certain things and then they will not accuse the military of being undemocratic. The military is not the only security agency, force, or department in the country. There are other security forces who have a role to play constitutionally when it comes to some of these issues. But I tell you that he doesn't have that capability. He is just blabbing. But I will allow the security forces that are responsible for handling such cases to take up the matter. Ours is come on the battlefield and we take you out. You should come on the battlefield and see whether we can react or not. Now to comments about welfare. I must tell you at this point that when you look at the, higher, the, the high command of the military, beginning with the chief of defense staff, General C.G. Musa, to the service chiefs, one thing you will, the, the common denominator you will see or find is that all of them have operational experience. They've been in the battlefield. They know what the troops in the field are feeling. And that is why on their appointment to their positions, they knew to take welfare of the troops as priority, which they have done. I can assure you that the military doesn't play with the welfare of his troops, particularly at this time. For the Army, the Air Force, I'm sure you've heard of welfare flights. Several things have been done, which I cannot reel all of them out right now. But I just want to assure you that the military high command does not play with the issue of welfare. I know where you are going to with that question when you spoke about welfare. And it is the case of a brigadier, a brigadier general that was relieved of his command based on issues surrounding welfare and other misdeeds. The military is a professional force which is self-regulating. I wish I could say much more about that situation, but I cannot. And the reason is because that case is going to go before a court martial. And by the time I put words forward here now, we will be accused of certain things. And we must note that they say you are innocent until what? Proving guilty. As you are aware, we have